Hello, I'm Brother Taylor, and today we're going to be talking about the simple future with C and calm. These are, there are actually two formulas I'd like you to memorize. Uh, one is C plus the present plus the simple future. The other is calm plus the future and the future. Both of these are simple future also, by the way. Um, now, in your book, it also talks about also deke, which is, applies to this formula as well, which means as soon as. So um, let's look at this example here. If you, this basically means if something happens, then something will happen. It's kind of a, kind of a conditional um, uh, kind of relationship between these two. For example, if the weather is nice, we will, the future, simple future is usually this idea of will, we will go to the sand dunes. If it is sunny, we will go to the park. Or if you do your homework, you will get a good grade. If you come to my party, we will have a great time. So it's this, this kind of idea, if this happens, then this will happen. So here's an example. If, si tu fais tes devoirs, tu auras une bonne note. If you do your homework, you will have a good grade, or get a good grade, une bonne note. So here you have C plus the present plus the future. It's interesting because you can actually juxtapose these phrases. You can just start off with this phrase. You can say, you will have a good grade if you do your homework, or if you do your homework, you will have a good grade. You can actually um, switch those, and it's, it's sim the same formula. S the, the present will go after the C in either case. S'il fait beau, if it makes nice, or beautiful, if the weather is nice, nous irons au parc, we will go to the park. Here we have C plus the present plus the future. Or and you can also say nous irons au parc s'il fait beau, and you can put the C over here if you want. Either way, either way, you have C and you have the, the um, present right after C. By the way, you can never put the future or conditional right after uh, a C, any, a conditional C. Uh, it has to be, in this case, it has to be the present tense if you're going to be using the future. So here, um, notice here we have call plus future, future. This is the idea of, of when when you come, when you will do this, then this will happen. Um, in English, it doesn't quite translate like that. In English, it's more like we say, when you do this, then this will, then we, then we will do that. But in French, it's more like when, and then will, and then will, will do, will do. Okay. So, for example, when she, quand elle finira le projet, nous dirons merci. This means, this translates in English as when she finishes the project, we will say thank you. But in French, literally what this is saying is when she will finish the project, we will say thank you. Notice in English, this first verb is usually in the present, but in French, they're both in the present. And it's kind of this idea that these things will kind of both happen um, kind of around the same time in the future. So when, so here we have when, and we have future and future. Now, I also could just use deke and say deke, deke, as soon as she finishes the project, we will say thank you, instead of when. It's a very, very similar idea, though. You can use deke or call in these situations. So, another example, deke, tu viendras à la fête, nous serons contents. As soon as you arrive, this is the verb venir, by the way. Venir, viendra, à la fête, nous serons contents. As soon as you come to the party, we will be happy. So it's kind of this thing that when you arrive, then we'll see you, and then you'll be happy. As soon as, notice in, in English, this first verb is, in, is translated in the present. As soon as you arrive, but notice literally in French it's saying, as soon as you will come, or as soon as you come, you will come, instead of you come. In English, it's as soon as you come to the party. But in French, we say as soon as you will come to the party, we will be happy. You have to use the future for both of these. 
So make sure you can conjugate the future, the simple future in French. Make sure you practice it and can recognize it. Uh, it's very, very important tense to, to, ma to master. So thank you.